course, the uh, Vino Nobile is this one, is uh, the 2005, which, uh, you know, uh, another one of our philosophies, since we make Appellation wine, we only make wine that uh, is um, made out of indigenous grape varieties. I will uh, uh, pour some wine here into the glass and uh, take a look at it. Um, as you can see, the color is quite intense, uh, powerful, beautiful, uh, you know, um, concentration. The wine, of course, you know, it's a, a wine that's six years old now, but it has a vibrant color, it has structure, it has power, and the, in the mouth, the tannicity. Um, it is um, full-bodied. It is, uh, has a very tight tannin structure, very long finish, good acidity. It is great with uh, the local dishes here. Uh, of uh, a bistecca la Fiorentina, which is, uh, you know, um, a T-bone steak, grilled, uh, very rare, and then sir, over a, a wood fire, usually oak, uh, coals, and then served uh, uh, with uh, extra virgin olive oil and a little light dusting of black pepper. On. Then, uh, of course, the other Vino Nobile we make is this one, Poggio Sant'Enrico, it is 100% uh, Sangiovese. And this wine is very particular because it comes from our best Sangiovese vineyard on all of our estates. Its production is uh, seven, eight thousand bottles, so very small. And uh, uh, it, uh, is, it goes through a fermentation not in the stainless steel tanks but in the cement, glass lined cement tanks. So it's sort of back to the future. And it goes unfiltered, unfined, racked into brand new barrels where it rests for about ten months. And then in the spring of 2005, this wine was bottled. And it has been in the bottle now since then, so it, is, uh, it has had almost six years of bottle age. And this is my current vintage, it's a 2003. The neighboring vintage is actually uh, this one, Sant'Ercolano. It is a Sangiovese, 85%. And then there is about 15% between uh, Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon which gives the wine, you know, a little bit more color, a little bit more flesh, if you will, if you wish. Uh, it's a little plumper, a little fatter. Uh, and of course, because of that structure, it pairs better with more power, you know, with um, dishes that are a little bolder. Um, dishes that have a little bit more cholesterol, if you will, you know, a little funner. The labels here on these wines are quite particular. They're, first of all, they're handmade paper by an artisan very simple because these are simply simply made wine as you can see the the Poggio Sant'Enrico here uh, has uh, just a plain uh, white background because it is 100% Sangiovese it is plain wine this one here on the other hand has a frame it's a very light small frame which uh, is there to testify that the wine has 15% Merlot and Cabernet that frames the Sangiovese, which really is uh, the um, main uh, player in, uh, in this wine. And uh, so that's Vino Nobile. We, of course, also make uh, a Vinsanto. And this one is a very special wine. It's uh, a 92 vintage, that's my current vintage. It's a wine that has spent 15 years in oak and chestnut caratelli. Caratelli is uh, a barrel that um, you know, ranges between 70 liters uh, to uh, 150 liters. Uh, in gallons, somewhere around 20 gallons to uh, 40 gallons, 50 gallons. And, um, and then it's assembled and it's put in the bottle. It's uh, um, Trebbiano, 60%, which is responsible for the fatness in the mouth and Malvasia which gives beautiful perfumes and uh, bouquet. At this point I would like to thank you for um, your uh, visit at Carpineto and uh, I wish you to come in person and have a glass of wine with me. Salute!